So good morning. We're going to uh, talk about the Renogy battery thing that we installed a week ago. And uh, initially I had a video set up where we cut open the cardboard boxes and talked about all that good stuff. Really it's things that don't matter. Uh, if you get that product in the mail it doesn't matter who it's from. If it's damaged you're going to send it back, right? So why would you care? Well, yeah, these had cardboard boxes that were double wall. We had foam backing all the way around it and top and bottom and yeah, it was packed up good. I'm not gonna waste video time on that. What I am gonna show you is what's important. When you're putting this in the RV, hooking it up and testing it to see if it's a value because that's what really matters. Can you use these RV batteries off grid in your camper? Can you use them in your shop? Um, that's really what matters. Uh, the cardboard, once you open it up, it goes in the garbage, right? So I'm not going to put that on. So let's talk about what matters. And <clears throat> anybody that's followed us and seen different videos that we have, we started out with uh, Power Queen batteries, and I haven't had any issues with those. Full disclosure, they, they still work pretty good. It seems like they're a little... A little bit weak at the end um, these have a little more stamina for some reason I don't know if it's because of the age but uh, these uh, work very well uh, they also had the low temperature charge interruption so that you don't damage these and the power Queens that I have while well, they don't have that low temperature protection so that matters uh, for us we live in Michigan and we do a lot of uh, dispersed camping you know, not plugged in. And uh, kind of a busy morning here, you can hear. And uh, well, that's our solar system. We bought that on a budget. Everything was on a flash sale. Amazon, Renogy, uh, mostly Amazon stuff. Two charge controllers, uh, several circuit breakers, several fuses. Um, we got the Renogy 3000 watt inverter charger in here uh, that thing is bulletproof very heavy but very bulletproof um, I have switch gear in the back that's hidden to protect everything so when you plug it in to shore power it transfers over and it keeps the the two AC systems separate from one another but uh I'll take a step inside So from the install, I, I still don't have the uh, cabinet back together. Got to slide that drawer in. But uh, for the video, I wanted to show you how it looks and how much room they really don't take up. Uh, and that's the core one we put in that allows us to remotely monitor and control a few things. Um, of course, there's our battery monitor. Now it is uh, it's 9:45 in the morning here in Michigan. Our inverter, inverter has been on. The only thing left running, sitting idle for a week, has been the small refrigerator. And it, it's, it's a 50 degree morning, so it's kind of chilly here. But, uh, this is what matters. I have these batteries installed in the front storage bay. <clears throat> and given the size of these, you can see they're, they're quite small given the power these things have. And I have them all tied down. Um, the other thing I've got is a few thermal imaging pictures. If anybody wants to see those. About showing the cleanliness of the terminals. Um, flat, clean connections. I have fuses that are installed under each one of the positive terminals. That are rated. Uh, if you don't know anything about rating fuses, I would strongly recommend looking up the NEC Impacity. Um, there's some good literature out there for systems like this. So, things that matter. Both of these batteries, they're rated for 200 amp hours, right? And they had that 100 amp maximum uh, charge rate that you can send 100 amps each battery. And each battery has a BMS that will allow you to pull 200 amps per battery out of it. That's the max. 
you can pull 400 amps out of it for a short period of time and it says 10 seconds there and why is that important or why is that handy well your air conditioner kicks on it pulls a lot of power even with a soft start that's still a lot of energy so that's important the former batteries they only had the 100 amp maximum discharge rating and you could charge them at 100 amps so I had three of those in there um, so these um, batteries here have a higher inrush load capability than the power queens that I that I had in here originally okay things that matter um, these things are rated 200 amp hours each battery is and the test I had I could run 420 amp hours out of this battery bank before the voltage dropped down to I think we got it the lowest was 10.7 and I didn't go any further with that uh, I've got the inverter set up to drop out before that happens uh, I don't feel like reprogramming everything but uh, these passed the power queens capability and again apples to apples uh, these are slightly different uh, they're they're newer so yeah I can't really you know say one's better than the other it's just that the new Renogy batteries I think these are have a, a lot more stamina to them so we have a small camper and we wanted to save a little space so dropping one battery makes a big difference for lawn chairs and other things but I wanted to share this part with you to see that uh, you know this isn't a, a pick on power queen by any means but we wanted to lighten up the load 47 pounds is good and uh, the extra room is going to be great it's a not a huge camper uh, we definitely use four odd lugs good quality uh, crimp connectors with the good uh, heat shrink sleeving uh, everything on here was torqued at uh, six foot pounds and that's the only information I could find in the book um, I did not get the video of the torque wrench um, the GoPro sometimes it doesn't like me very well uh, nevertheless uh, we, we got the right uh, right torque on these cables um, worked out pretty good I was taking a little extra precaution here by putting some tape down so I wouldn't do something crazy by laying a wrench down uh, these fuses I have are marine grade fuses they're these particular ones are 150 amp um, I do have other ones ordered but they weren't in time for this video so we went ahead and used these one thing I forgot to mention was battery balance after charging them overnight you hook them up like this and let them set for 24 hours. Let's get this test underway. I'll have the results at the end, so don't worry if you miss something. Yep. Yeah. We're doing all these tests. For science. There's the old GoPro. Strictly for science. Really gray day out there. Hey, we'll take it. Things are looking up for Washington anyway. So after this test, you know, it, it's difficult for me to say if uh, this battery fits your needs, uh, but I can tell you for sure that everything I tested here today uh, overnight in the past two days the batteries as advertised delivered more than the nameplate I don't have a scientific meter to be able to show you exactly how many amp hours to the minute and volt that they deliver but I can tell you this they exceeded my old batteries which were only six months old um, do they fit for you I don't know there's some people that say this brand is better than that brand and and so on and I'm not going to get into that I had two batteries I load tested them, put them in a real world scenario with, I had some resistive heat, uh, the TV, every light, water pump, I had everything I could run in this camper over a pretty good period of time. And, and they delivered better than the nameplate. Um, the number that I calculated 
was somewhere in the neighborhood of 210 amp hours per battery. So very happy how this turned out. Um, I don't have anything but uh, thumbs up to tell you on the Renogy core batteries. Um, they fit the application just fine and I think uh, they would work for you. If you found this useful, we'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.